Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is a special day because today we are going to start a new series for DA100 exam. In this series, I'm going to teach you each and everything that is required to pass the DA100 exam. And after completing this series, after going through all the topics and the question and answers, you are going to definitely clear DA100 exam. In this series, I'm going to explain each and every topics. I have divided them into seven different sections and which I'm going to tell you just now after this. This is the very first episode of this series where I'm going to tell you what it's going to cost you, who should go for this one and why should you go for this one, etc. So please stay tuned till the end of this video and stay tuned for more videos. Is this certificate basically this is da100 is the exam name but this is the microsoft certificate which is going to make you microsoft certified data analyst associate so just remember that there is a word associate it's just not the microsoft certified data analyst but don't worry there are no other exam for power bi the data analyst should have a fundamental understanding of data repositories and data processing both on-premise and in the cloud. Data analyst enables business to maximize the value of their data assets by using Microsoft Power BI or any other Microsoft tool. As a subject matter expert, data analysts are responsible for designing and building scalable data models, cleaning and transforming the data and enabling advanced analytics capabilities and provide meaningful business value through easy to comprehend data visualizations. Data analysts are collaborate with the key stakeholders across the verticals to deliver relevant insights based on identified business requirements. Being a data analyst, you have a lot of responsibilities and also you have to keep updating your knowledge day to day. So that's how this certificate is very important. I'll also discuss the advantages of this certification later in this video but this certificate is the da100 exam certificate that you need to clear in order to being awarded as a microsoft certified data analyst associates so this is what it is so let's move further and talk about should you go for this or not or who should go for this well being a data analyst is not enough in today's market if you are looking for some more opportunities and you are you want to update yourself with the latest technologies and the different kind of skills so definitely you should go for the certificate and also there are several perks being a certified data analyst which i'm going to again do later in this video so definitely you should go for this uh, certificate if you are already working in this um, data analyst field for the last two three years or something because if your experience is less than two years then definitely you are going to lag behind a lot of things you can learn i'm not denying that definitely you can learn a lot of things but still experience matters so you need to have been at least according to me you should have at least two and a half years and more than that and then you should go for this certificate otherwise you should wait Till you get two and a half years or three years of work experience, then you should go for this one. What is the cost? So basically, according to Microsoft United States, its cost is 165 USD plus the taxes. But also that depends from the country to country. Some countries have uh, less, some has more cost for this certification. So I'll provide the link in the description section and then you can go over there and you can check the cost and how much that's cost that cost. For you so definitely don't forget to check the links in the description section and also you can specify your country when you are checking out for that and if you have certain discount coupons then you can apply for that too and also be uh, keep in mind that certain universities and uh, certain organizations they provide the discounts as well so don't forget to check the discount link over there too now let's talk about the skill measured for this exam. 
So basically in Microsoft data analyst exam, there are five main criteria that they are going to measure. The very first comes the prepare the data that is going to be 20 to 25 percent. Then secondly, that comes to the modeling the data, how you are going to model your data, how you're going to create the different entities and their relationships, etc. Thirdly, it would be the visualizing the data. What different visualizations you are going to use? You are going to use the custom visualizations or the inbuilt visualizations in the Power BI. This tool is basically, um, this certification is based on the Power BI. So it's specifically for the Power BI, but definitely they are the data analysis terms and everything is going to be used in that too. Number four comes for the analyze the data. So in that, uh, particular section you you have to analyze the data based on their different use cases that is going to be 10 to 15 percent and the last one is the deploy and maintain uh, deploy and maintain the deliverables where your power power bi service comes into the picture there are the different uh, rules workspaces admin part etc comes and how you are going to share the role level securities etc so these are the skills measured in this exam and definitely it's not that easy but it's not that difficult too that you cannot clear it so if you will follow my tutorials if you will learn from the microsoft site and you will do some of the practices or if you are already working in this field so i'm sure you can clear it out no matter what now let's talk about the advantages as i explained to you previously that there are definitely some perks being a certified data analyst associates so now we are going to talk about them one by one the very first comes with the uh, updated skills and knowledge definitely whenever you are going for any certification exam you have to study you have to uh, learn those things because it's not possible for everyone to always work on the all parts of those uh, skills measure in any particular exam so you have to be uh, you have this box like after studying everything you have your updated knowledge and skills and you can utilize them in your day-to-day -day life number second comes the recognition in the crowd for the job seekers basically in the market you will see there are thousands of people who are looking for the job but there are only few people in the market who are certified maybe there can be the different reasons that people really don't want to go for those kind of uh, you know uh, the skills or they are not coming out of their comfort zone or there can be several reasons behind that but if you are certified if you are a microsoft certified data analyst associates then definitely you are gonna be in the front side of the queue so definitely you are be out of the whole crowd and everyone is looking for you third comes the validation at your company so whenever you are being a certified so your company always recognizes you they can even sponsor your certificates or they can give you in some other rewards or maybe your performance hikes etc you can get everything the number fourth comes the higher salary so being a certified this is the best perk which i can say everyone works for the salary apart from the other things as well i'm not denying that Definitely we have our own motto, our own passion towards being a data analyst or being a software developer or being anyone else who's working as an entrepreneur or anything. But uh, at last it also comes to the money because without money we cannot do anything in this world. So if you are a certified uh, data analyst associates, definitely your salary will be higher than the, as compared to the other people. And you can demand for the, your next recruiter or the next company as well based on your certifications. Now comes the better career opportunities. So whenever we are searching for a job, there are the different organizations. Some are really better, some are not so good. It's okay, but depends on your own choices. But definitely being a certified opens a lot of other doors as well. So nowadays there are the recruiters or the, some of the organizations, they are clearly asking that you should be certified to apply for this job. So the very first eligibility criteria you are meeting over here and also you can get advanced in your career very quickly if you are certified you have updated skills you can work more proficiently more efficiently and then definitely that will open a lot of doors for you now we talk about the respect 
from colleagues. So once you are certified, definitely everyone would respect you because skills are the only kind of thing that everyone respects for that. If you are skillful, everyone will respect you. And being a certified definitely indicates that you are a master in this particular skill area. So go for that. Now, last but not least is the personal satisfaction. So if you will ask me, I always do a lot of certifications. You can check my LinkedIn profile or anywhere else. So you will see I have done a lot of certifications and it's kind of my own personal satisfaction that I'm keeping myself updated. I'm learning anything that is coming in my way or always I try to learn something new and new and new. So I recommend you to go for that. You will feel proud of yourself and you will definitely satisfy. Now, we have talked about this, to whom this one is, what, is, what are the different advantages and who should go for that, what is the cost. Now, the actual part comes over here. For that, we have started this series and uh, very first, we'll talk about the learning path. What would be our learning path through this complete tutorial? So, the very first, we are going to understand the Microsoft Data Analytics, where we have the two parts. One is the data analysis, then we have after that uh, starting building the reports from the Power BI. Second comes with the data preparation, where we will do all the ETL kind of uh, ETLs or the extract transform load of the data, data massaging and everything in that part and we'll learn how to do that. What are the different transformations that we can use? Third one comes the data modeling in the Power BI. I'll show you how we can fetch the tables from SQL Server or from the different data sources, how to make the relationship, how to see the filter propagation or the, you know, the cross filtering direction, single, both and everything I'm going to tell you in that particular section. Then we are going to visualize the data in the fourth one and we'll see the what are the different sections in visualizing the data, how to get the custom visualizations or the default visualizations, how to do the formatting and other stuff. Then again comes the data analysis in Power BI, how we can achieve that, how we can even use the advanced data analytics functions, how we can use the AI based visualizations or AI based functionalities that is in Power BI, even the cognitive services like sentimental analysis and all those advanced stuff we can do over there. Then it comes to managing the workspaces, how we can manage workspace, how we can create a workspace, what is the Power BI service and uh, how to put your report or your data sets over there, how to share with your colleagues, etc. The last part, which is not even in the specific, uh, specifically in the Microsoft curriculum, but I'm going to discuss about the administrative part, where we will discuss the gateway administration plus the different admin settings on the portal, which are very useful while, uh, while we are working on the Power BI. So the very first one that we are going to discuss or going to start next week in our the episode 2 of DA 100 Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate exam is understanding Microsoft Data Analytics where we are going to discuss about two parts. One is the discovering the data analysis and second the get started building with Power BI. So where we are that would be the second part of that one, maybe the episode number three, where we are going to discuss this. But this is how we are going to start our sessions. So please stay tuned for more videos and let me know how can we help you or how can I help you. Though I'm trying my best to spread the knowledge, whatever I have or in a best way that you all can get certified, you all can take the advantage of all the knowledge that I have which I can share with you guys. And if you are over here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. That would help us a lot and even would help to other people as well. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Mm -hmm.